Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah to the worthy Lamb of God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, worthy Lamb of God. Ah, hallelujah. Somebody get ready and worship the living God this afternoon for His glory. Tonight, this afternoon, for Your glory. Ah, I'm crying out, the people of God crying out. Hey, ah, Lord of glory. Hey, ah, hallelujah. Everybody's opinion 
liberal journalists who should know better. They don't care. But, you know, we wait on the Lord and we listen for his word. And we take his word and run with it at a high level. Carla's been bringing it up for about a week. A little chorus, which I'm going to have to call Ariel, my youngest daughter, and get it from her. Your opinion is the only one that matters. said it yesterday during the Monday stream and she said it last week there's so many opinions Father we pray that your word would be released we are tired of people venturing out their unrighteous opinions that have nothing to do with you not based on the truth of your word or who you are Lord we just sing with all devotion in our heart well oh today with all devotion in our heart to you your opinion is the only one that matters now. Your opinion is the only one that matters now. Your opinion, we want to hear your voice, God, and know your heart and voice, because you're you said in your word is the only thing let's get it you guys it's the only thing that matters that we want you to know we see it for what it is we see it for who you are your opinion your opinion is the only one that matters ah, your opinion we're listening God to your voice speak Lord speak Lord your servants are listening. Yeah. Your blood speaks a better word. What? Your blood, it spoke a better word. Or, wow. <laughs> Your blood speaks a better word. Today, 
It's 2,200 years after the crucifixion and the resurrection and your blood still speaks a better word. Thanks, Ken. It's 2,200 years after your crucifixion, resurrection, your blood is still speaking. Your blood is still speaking. Better word. Your blood is still speaking. The lion and the lamb. My good friend Margaret Cloyd bought, brought this last Wednesday. I said, hey, got to pull out lion and the lamb. Our God is the lion. The lion of Judah. And you're roaring with your power and fighting our battle. Every knee will bow before you. Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. Your blood speaks a better word. Your blood breaks the chains. Every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb every knee will bow and every knee will bow before the lamb oh my god isn't that a beautiful picture right there boy Woo! open up the gates open up the gates make way before the king of kings is here to set the captives free. Open up the gates. And open up the gates. Make way before the King of Kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The God who comes to save is here to set all the captives can stop the Lord Almighty? Uh, who can stop you, Lord Almighty? Uh, who can stop the Lord? No one, no one. Come on, answer the question. Who can stop? We cry out. There is none like no one can stop you, Lord God Almighty. No one can stop you, Lord God Almighty. Isn't that a great feeling to know? It's a great uh, Bible truth to know. No one can stop you, Lord. No one. Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. You're roaring with your power. Fighting our battle, and every knee will bow before you. Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb who was slain for the sins of the world, and your blood breaks every chain. Every knee will bow before the Lion and the Lamb. <laughs> Steve Hahn said, hey, kid, glad I met him as the lamb and not the returning lion. Absolutely, bro. Unless you got saved at the last minute or touched by the Holy Spirit. I'm glad I got a leg up on you. I know him right now. I know him. Let's go from the top. You're coming on the clouds. Kings and kingdoms will bow down. Every 
chain will break and Lord and every chain will break his broken hearts declare your praise who can stop the Lord Almighty who can stop the Lord Almighty oh, who can stop the Lord oh God guys ready? Come on. Our God, I mean, our God is the lion, the lion of Judah. You're roaring, Lord, with your power and fighting our battle. And every knee will bow before you. Our God is the lamb, the lamb that was slain the sins of the world and your blood breaks every chain every knee will bow before the lion <laughs> and every knee will bow come on sing it a couple times yeah every knee will bow before the lion and, and the songwriters pegs on it again. She always looks it up. Leland has that super high voice. And Brian Johnson, Brett, Brett and Brown, little songwriting team. Who can stop the Lord? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord the Lord Almighty, who can stop the Lord Almighty, who can stop the Lord Almighty, we cry out, no one, no one can stop you, Lord, yeah, who can stop the Lord Stop the Lord Almighty. Yeah. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? No one, no one. Come on, do it one more time. I, na, 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 oh, no, no. Who can stop you, Lord? Oh. Who can stop you, Lord? of the world and your blood breaks the chain every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb every knee will bow down Every knee will bow. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess. Every tongue will confess. Every tongue will confess. You are Lord. Every tongue will confess. Yeah. Every tongue will confess. 
tongue will confess, Lord. Every tongue will confess that you check this out. Check it out now. Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. You are the Lord. Every knee will bow, every tongue confess. You are the Lord. Every knee will bow, every tongue confess. Come on, sing it. I am. Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. You are Lord. You, Jesus, we say it out loud today. It brings atmospheric change to our homes, our businesses, our cities, our counties. Na, na, na. Every tongue will confess you are Lord Jesus. Every knee will bow, every tongue our God. Yes, our God is the lion, lion of Judah. Before we get to Psalm 20, some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of our Lord. Out of the prayer room, the song closer, your love, stay right there on G, why not? Your love is ravished. I love that word, ravished. Love sick. You hear people that hang out in prayer rooms, people that are deeper, throne room believers. These words, I'm, I'm a lovesick believer. Go, wow, really, man? I first heard that go, that's cool, man. And your love has ravished my heart. Take 
taken me, it's taken me over and over. And all I want is to be with you forever. With you forever. Your love, yeah. Your love has ravaged my Gotta know your heart Pull me out Pull me a little closer Take me a little deeper I wanna know I wanna know your heart Yeah Your love is so much sweeter Anything I've tasted I want to know your heart, I want to know your heart, I want to know your heart, you're kidding me, it's so powerful, no. out of their slumber let's go 33% just a third of all American believers and you can look at your nation the same way if a third of people just woke up tomorrow morning with deep 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 stuff where the fountains of the Lord were flowing in all richness and they it just changed their whole life like when they first got saved or first got spirit filled you got to come back to your first love man just think of the power that would be released. It's right there. Wow. Carla, love sick and ravished. Anything on that or anything on this song closer? 
comes to you. We're going to head into to Psalm 20, but this keep that one close to your heart, man. You can. Uh, I'm assuming it's on YouTube somewhere. Uh, hopefully, I think Bethel did it, but also IHOP is the beginner of so many great deep songs in so many ways. Hallelujah. I'm going to have Carly give you the title of Psalm 20. Here we go for Jesus and the keynote scriptures. The title would be Some Trust in Chariots and Some in Horses. Not us. But we will remember the name Woo. of our God. Yeah. Father God, we pray that you answer us in the day of trouble and that you would send your help from your sanctuary. We rejoice in your salvation. We rejoice in the name of our God and we set up our banners. We know, Lord, that you save your anointed and that you answer him from your holy heaven with the saving strength of your right hand. Because some trust in chariots and some in horses, but not us, God. We trust in you and you alone, and we re remember your name, the mighty name of Jehovah, the Lord wow. God, wow. And your son Jesus, Jesus, our Lord and Savior. We pray that you give us enlightenment and encouragement today as we meditate on Psalm 20. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Psalm 20, verse 1. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you, setting you on high. I pray that the Lord will listen. He's listening when you are in trouble, and the God of Jacob will keep you safe. Yahweh answer you in the day of distress. The power of Jacob's God be your protection and tower of strength. May the Eternal's answer find you then coming to rescue you when you desperately cling to the end of your rope. May the name of the true God of Jacob be your shelter. In your day of danger, may the Lord answer and deliver you. May the name of the God of Jacob, God's Prince, set you safely on high. And this we know for sure. You answer us in the day of trouble. You will answer your people in the day. This is one of the days of trouble in our nation, God, and we know you hear our cry. In the day of trouble, you answer and you rescue. You answer and you rescue. You are my rescue, God. You are my rescue, God. Yeah. yeah, you are my rescue, God. You hear and answer our cry. You hear and answer our cry. You are my rescue, God. our prayers in the day of trial. Think about it, you guys. You answer our cry in the day of trouble. You hear the cry of your people and you answer our prayer. Verse 2. May he send you help. Not from somebody's reserve or a bank somewhere. He's going to send you help from his sanctuary. Oh, come on, be still now. What? Shh. <laughs> the new King James straight up, man. 
may he send you help. And they, they went right for the gold. Uh, they didn't see, uh, say, well, out of your cattle and your sheep on the thousand hills, even though he owns that. From all your grain resources in your silo, it, it, they didn't say that. The psalmist here, he's going to send you help from this sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. Uh, wow. Sends you help from his sanctuary. He will support, he will refresh, and strengthen you from Zion. Love it, Lord. May the Lord send help from his temple and come to your rescue from Mount Zion. Woo! All right then. May he extend hope and help, hope and help to you from his holy sanctuary and support you from his sacred city of Zion. He extends his hope and help to you. It is his hope and help that comes to you. He extends his hope and help to you. Hope and help from his holy sanctuary. You extend hope and help to us, God. You extend your hope and help to us, God, from your holy sanctuary. From your, oh God, it's so powerful. And now he extends his hope and his help to you. You extend your hope and your help to us, God, yeah. You extend your hope and your help to us from your sanctuary. From your sanctuary and from the sacred city Mount Zion. Oh, the city Zion. And the Passion Bible ends verse 2. supernatural help be sent from his sanctuary may he support you right there from Zion's fortress yes Zion's fortress verse 3 may he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice may he remember all your offerings yes may he be let be pleased with your rich offerings, with your burnt sacrifices. May he remember all that you have offered him. May your burnt sacrifices serve as a prelude to his mercy. May he remember your gifts, be pleased with what you bring. May he remember every gift you have given him and celebrate every at every sacrifice of love you have shown him. Selah. Selah. Our life. Our life. A pleasing offering to you. Please, we offer ourselves as living sacrifice. Oh my. to you, Lord, my life will be a pleasing offering, pleasing offering, oh my life and my heart, my life and my heart, a pleasing offering, oh, uh, we offer our Romans 12, 1 and 2. It's hooked right to verse 3 of Psalm 20. Our lives and heart a pleasing offering. Living sacrifice. Living sacrifice. Right over here, Lord. Right here. Living sacrifice. Because we belong. Fire now, oh, 
we're living sacrifices for you and we offer it a total surrender of our heart and mind we are a living sacrifice to you yeah. see how it matches up Psalm 20 verse 3 man and Romans 12 1 and 2 do, do, do. we're not offering up the bloods of bull and goats we gave our whole life and our heart to him verse 4 May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. Okay. May he grant the dreams of your heart. Oh, stay there. And the psalmist, he, he, he's busting out his best wish list. I'm doing it for you that I might receive it. May he grant you the dreams of your heart. The dreams of your heart. He's seeing your plans through to the end as you walk in his will. The dreams of your heart. The dreams of granting you the dreams of your heart as you walk in his work and his will can i do it again it's the dreams of your heart jesus it's all the dream keep dreaming having the visions it goes on to say may he give you your heart's desire okay lord yes He'll grant you success in all your plans, making all your plans go well. Thanks, Lord. May God give you every desire of your heart. He's going to crown all your plans with success. Thanks, Lord. And carry out every plan as you go to battle. Whoa, that's quite a promise right there. He's going to give you the desire of your heart and crown all your plans with his success and carry out your every plan as you go to battle. Think of this. We need recently, they brought back this word, the problem with the American church is they thought the ship that God was putting them on was a cruise ship, but it's not. It's a battleship. Maybe if you heard this word before, wow. I had a young guy recently say, Kent, you are something else, your generation. I mean, you stayed faithful through the years, but he said, the Lord showed me. Out of the 70s and the 80s, the people of God, the body of Christ decided they were just going to enjoy the Lord and not go up to war. And it was a requirement. The Lord said, I need you to go up to war. I need you to win souls. I need you to go into the promised land. I know there's giants there, but the grapes are huge. Think of this. And that's why I think about my heart's desire is to see him glorified at the highest level. So he's going to grant you the dreams of your heart, the desires of your heart, and crown and carry out every plan as we go to battle. Verse 5. We will rejoice in your salvation. And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Then you will win victories and we will celebrate while raising our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord answer all of your prayers. When you win, we will not be silent. We will shout in triumph at your salvation and victory. We will raise high our banners in the great name of our God. May the eternal say yes to all your requests. Jesus. We will shout for joy at your salvation, O Lord. 
When we hear the news of your victory, our flags are flying with praise. Our flags are flying with praise to God for all that he has done for you. And when you succeed, we will celebrate and shout for joy. Flags will fly when victory is yours. Yes, God will answer your prayers and we will praise him. We are flying our flags high with praise for your victory. Yeah. We are flying our flags high in the name of the Lord and in your victory. Raise high the banner in the Lord. Oh, we're raising our banners. We're raising our banners in the name of the Lord. In your vic we fly our flags in victory. Yeah. Flying our flags, flying our banners, flying our flags, flying our banner, fly. There's a place and a time to fly the flags of the Lord and the banners of the Lord at your victories. Lord, we'll do this thing at your victories. We will do this thing at your victory. We will do this thing of flying my banner. Flying my banner. of who you are flying our banners and our flags we raise our flags i love flags and banners some people don't like them but man there's a day we got to get out the flags and let the children flag use those ribbons and set up the banners in the name of the lord in the name in the name in the And verse 6, now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his, what a promise of his right hand. Hear it again. Now I know the Lord saves his anointed. I'm going to stay here for a minute. Understand, you've been, you're called the little Christ, you guys. You're the anointed ones of the Lord. The Lord truly will always save his anointed. Take it as a giant promise right now. A giant promise. Now I know, the psalmist said, I know this for sure. What? He said, I know this for sure. That the Lord will save his anointed ones. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. And the contemporary English version says, I am certain. Really? Yeah. I am certain, Lord, that you will help your chosen king. You will answer my prayers from your holy place in heaven. And you will save me with your mighty arm. That clinches it. Help's coming. An answer is on the way. Wow. Everything's going to work out. Hear it again. The message Bible said, that, well, that clinches it. Really? Yeah. It clinches it. What's that? Well, help's coming. Help's coming. An answer's on the way. Everything's going to work out. Somebody shout amen. Hallelujah. Help me coming your answer is on the way everything is gonna work out Lord in you everything is gonna work out in you well, help is coming and answers on the way everything's gonna work out in you Lord everything's gonna work out I said well your help is coming the answer's on the way, everything's gonna work out in you, Lord. 
Lord, everything's gonna work. Yeah, I said, help is coming. The answer's on the way. Yeah, everything's gonna work out. And he said, everything's gonna work. Sing it out. Well, everything's gonna work out in you. Yeah, everything. Do it again. Yeah, everything's gonna work out in you. Everything, you work it all out, Lord, and everything's going to work out in you, Lord. The other translations of verse 6, I don't fear. I'm very confident that help will come to the one anointed by the eternal. Raise your hand if you've been anointed by the eternal. <laughs> Woo, by Christ Jesus himself, you've received, 1 John 2, 20, you've received an anointing, broster. Woo, thank you, Lord. Everything's gonna work out in you. What? Everything's gonna work out. I don't fear, okay? I'm very confident. Well, I appreciate that as well. That help will come to the ones anointed by the eternal. Heaven will respond to his plea. And his mighty right hand will win the battle. I know God gives me all that I ask for and brings victory to his anointed king. My deliverance cry will be heard. Wow, in his holy heaven. So by his mighty hand, miracles will manifest through his saving strength. Hear it again. By your mighty hand, Lord, miracles are manifesting through the saving strength of your right hand. Carla. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. These adversaries they trust in chariots and in horses, but we shall inwardly call on the name of the Lord God. But we are strong in the name of the Lord. Let others talk of horses and chariots, but our refuge is in the name of the Lord our God. By the name of Yahweh, our God, we will prevail. Some depend on the chariot and some depend on their horses. But we will invoke, call on the name of Jehovah, our God. Some find their strength in their weapons and wisdom. Wow. But by miracle deliverance can never be won by men. Our boast is in the Lord, our God, who makes us strong and gives us victory. Some trust, some trust in chariots. Some are trusting, many are trusting, and their horses and chariots, and many are trusting in their earthly resources. But I got this to sing and say, Oh, we remember your name, O Lord. Oh, And it says, oh, some trust in their chariots, some trust in their horses, many are trusting in their earthly resources, but we remember your name, oh Lord. Well, some trust in their chariot, and they are. some trust in their horses, but we will remember your name. We rely on the name of the... Come on, sing it. Will some trust in the chariots? Oh, and some trust in their horses. 
many are relying on their earthly resources, but we remember the name of the Lord. Oh, well, some trust in their chariots, well, some trust in their horses, they're trusting in their earthly resources, Lord. But we remember the name of the Lord, oh, and we remember your name, oh, Lord. Well, we're relying on your name, oh, Lord. Oh, we're remembering your name, the miracles you've done. We rely on the name of the, ah, ah, oh, some trust in their chariots, yeah. Some trust in their horses. But we, oh Lord, trust and remember the name, the name that's above every other, every other name. They've bowed down and fallen, verse 8. But we have risen and stand upright while our enemies, Lord, and those that were trusting in earthly resources, well, they bow down, they've fallen. But we have risen and stand upright. Others will stumble and fall, but we will be strong and stand firm, Lord. Soon our enemies will collapse and fall, never to return home. All the while, we will rise. We will rise and stand firm. We're on the rise. That scripture in Isaiah 60, rise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. All the while our enemies are collapsing, we will rise. We're rising, you guys. We're rising right now. We're standing firm on the firm foundation of the cross and the blood of Jesus. Well, they will falter and collapse, but we will arise, stand up. I love this, and be full of courage. Our enemies will not prevail. They will only collapse and perish in defeat. While we rise up full of courage, our enemies will not prevail. They will only collapse and perish in defeat. While we rise up full of courage in the name of the Lord. Last verse, verse 9. Get ready. Save, Lord. May the King answer us when we call. Eternal One, grant victory to our King. Answer our plea for help. Save, Lord, and hear us, King of Heaven, when we call upon Thee. Grant victory to the King, O Thou Eternal, and answer our appeal this day. Give victory to our King, O God. The day we call on you, give us your answers. We appeal to heaven this day, God. Save us, save our country, save our world. In Jesus' name. You give victory when you answer, Lord. You give victory. and the power of the King of Kings. You give victory. Ah, you give victory. Ah, you give victory. You answer and win a week King and all our sons and daughters, God, you're giving victory to us all. Yeah, victory. You led captivity captive. You led justice to victory, Lord Jesus. Yeah, you led 
justice to victory and you answer us when we call walking in your victory and here we remain Lord these psalms inscribed deep in our hearts for your glory and for your kingdom embellish it Lord give us the the light and the revelation from your heart of all the intended meetings, God. We're carrying this word right over into eternity, guys. All the word that you know, all the word that you hid in your heart that you might not sin against, God. You carry, you're not gonna forget everything you knew on this earth. You're gonna carry it right over. Ah, isn't that awesome? Da -da. We are living by every word from your mouth. We are living, Lord, by every word from your mouth. Psalm 20, brilliant, Lord. We are living by every word from your mouth, Lord. Yeah, we are living, Lord, by every word from your mouth. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses, but we will remember the name of our God. Some trust in chariots, and some trust in horses, but we will remember your name that does the miracles. Oh, Some in their horses, but we will remember your name, O oh Lord. Some trust you in chariots, O oh Lord. Some trust in horses, but we will remember your name. Well, Holy Ghost, how was your day today? I want to see some hearts and thumbs flying. It was awesome in the name of Jesus for sure, bro. Woo! Wait for the Lord, and we've been doing it. We're going to see the blessing of the Almighty come as we wait on the Lord. Worship in the Word. You'll never outrun this, the power of His presence. Worship in the Word, in the name, in the name of Jesus. One of my favorite psalms, man. Well, Matt, what's going on today? How you doing? Yes, amen and amen. So great to see everybody today for Tuesdays, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time live stream. Hit that like and hit that share button, especially since we had a little internet snafu and it kind of shut down on us. As I said in the comments, I will be putting this back up at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time in its full entirety since we had it uh, shut down in the middle for just a, a little bit. We got it right back up and running, but we're so thankful to see you guys joining us each and every day. This is a worship, prayer, prophetic community. It's online. We have people from all over the world. As this is your first time, um, you are joining us for... What started at the beginning of this pandemic, a five day a week right now, we did it, it was seven days a week at the beginning. The Lord kind of put us in a position to be doing this, to putting his word out there, singing his word out there. And uh, we're so thankful to be able to be here right now doing it with you. Thank you for joining us for Psalm 20 today. Um, let somebody know that we're here doing this. We want to connect with new friends each and every day. And as part of this going live five days a week, um, we need your support to make it happen. Uh, each and every month we have to meet a budget and we're trying to hit that budget at $360 per stream that kind of gets us down the road to keeping that budget all done so we can have this going out to you five days a week as you've been seeing it up till now we're just so thankful to be in this position and we ask everybody to prayerfully consider supporting the stream the Lord knows how he's going to deliver what we need and how he's going to deliver what you need and uh, we were just wanting to, you guys to be faithful to what he would have you do um, and uh, that's all we ask because it could be just liking a 
and sharing. It could be 50 cents. It could be a hundred or a thousand dollars. We've had all different things like that come in and we are thankful and appreciative for all of those things coming in so that we can make this happen and join in with you guys, lift each other up all over the world online. We're thankful for you guys joining us today. If you want to support the stream, it's chmin.org. That's what you're seeing on your screen right now. Or you can visit kenthenry.com. They will take you to similar places since we are a joined ministry. You could donate by check. Somebody had uh, written earlier about that. That is on our donate page. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that you bake the checks out to that. You send it to that address. That's all done. Safe and secure through the mail like usual. But we also have uh, online giving right here on the site. So if you want to click those buttons at the top, it's monthly support. The one-time donation or the 12 campaign are available right there. So check out those buttons if you want to join us and give through Give Lively, our partner on that. We also have a store set up with all sorts of worship resources and products. Make sure you check that out. There's also ways to give right here within the store. There's a 20% off coupon. It pops up for you when you join us for the first time. You can sign up for that. Get 20% off of your first order. If you're a PayPal user, you can join us at PayPal dot me slash chmin and log in right behind my head there is the login that you can use to log in if you're a paypal user right here you can join monthly or one time right here within the paypal app or the uh, whether you're on your phone or whether you're on your browser we also have uh, the facebook fundraiser set up for each and every month if you're joining us on facebook pinned in the comments i threw it in there again are all these links so that makes it easy for you to click on them and give if you're set up to give through uh, facebook use the fundraiser it's all done through um network for good and they will collect all that give it to us in one lump sum right here through these fundraisers we set up each and every month so make sure you check that out if you're a facebook friend we also have the stars available if you want to give a small amount that's a quick and easy way right here in the comments to do so you can support many uh, streamers through this method so if you buy stars you can give them whatever amount you want and uh so if you want to check that out it's right there in your comments we also have that same thing on youtube super chat if you're joining us on youtube check out the little dollar sign at the bottom you can send us a super chat which is a way to give to us and a way for your comment to be kind of uh, shown out of the rest of the comments so check that out if you're on youtube i need to put that uh back up but thank you to aaron allison who donated just a little bit ago helping to support today's stream if you want to do text giving we have that available as well through Give um, or give lively our partner. You put the word CHM give or the word give 12 in your message box, and then you send that to the phone number 44321, as you see on your screen right there. Kind of strange, but it's the number 44321. Put those words in there, it'll generate that link to you where you can click on that, go through all the prompts to give right there through Give Lively, our partner. And lastly, if you're shopping on Amazon, make sure you're doing it through the Smile program and that Kent Henry Ministries is supported on there. You can choose it, there's the link for it right there all the stuff you put in your cart gives us a half percent of donation so just by your normal everyday shopping no expense to you you can help support these videos going out for free that is our goal to put his words sung and worship him out there for free so that whoever would catch it at live or later these are all there on all of our channels for everybody to reconnect with these to soak in his word and to do all that to whoever would come across it we love you guys for joining us each and every day tomorrow night we'll be down at the gateway house of prayer here in st louis where we put that out live as well at 7 p.m central standard time um, it looks like dad and i will be leading that one so make sure you let somebody know that we're going to be live interceding for the nation for the world all down at our house of prayer located here in st louis and we share that live with everybody 7 p.m central standard time we will see you guys tomorrow be blessed